to review for those of you who are not on FTE, recently we had a little problem with oil filters, our beloved Motocraft oil filters. Bill, aka Performance, noted that his oil filter had come apart. Now, Bill's a very good mechanic and does oil changes religiously. It was a Walmart acquired Motocraft filter and he shows the production code up in the window. A few weeks later, another member has an oil filter that came apart, also a motocraft. So now we're up to two. The discussion continues that the part numbers for Walmart are different than Ford or other retail facilities. The packaging for Walmart is a little different, and the suffix is AB. All other retail facilities sell an AA part. Normally, I always buy the Raycor part. They were the designer and they're the supplier to Ford for this filter. And this situation with the suffix being either AA or AB really had me confused. In my history with Ford, when you went to AB, it was a revision of the part in some manner, not a different marketed part. But I'm curious about what the difference is between these three. I had the Raycor filter. The Walmart one is easy to acquire and I ordered in one of the AA Ford parts. As many of us have experienced, the AA part shows the Motocraft part number and production date. The Raycor doesn't have any labeling, and the AB part is the same, no labeling up top. All three show the same injection molding tool marks. All of the filters use this area to identify the production batch numbers. But I have no information on how to decode these numbers. I marked one pleat so I could count how many pleats compromise each filter. The near calipers show that the top plates are the same thickness as are the bottom plates. A visual inspection of the bedding material at the bottom and top of each filter doesn't show any differences between all three versions. All three filters show Raycor's patent numbers. And the base sealing gaskets all appear to be exactly the same. and the media itself looks exactly the same between all three. Although this is just a visual, there's no way to tell what the mesh actually is. And the next step is to measure the weight of each filter. 104 grams for the AA filter. And now the Walmart AB filter with its extra pleat.
the rest of the interior appears to be the same as the other filters. And I measured the thickness of a pleat as best I could, three pleats per filter. So I triple checked the pleat count since we had a little variation there. But these are the results out of the three samples that I had. So as best as can be checked in a home environment, the Walmart filter appears to have an extra pleat and the Raycor filter is slightly lighter. One thing I learned in years of product testing, analysis off of one sample can get you into trouble. So off to Walmart and advanced auto parts. I'll leave the Raycor out of this. The A parts on the left. Three production numbers. And the Walmart AB parts on the right. Again, three production numbers. A look at the bedding area on the interior. And now the Walmart AB parts. Checking weights again. And another visual of the external bedding material. The filter media is embedded into a compound rather than injection molded into the plates. You can tell by the difference in the texture of the material. Bedding is rough, bubbled, not smooth at all. So as I look at the small sample count for both the AA and AB filters, there are no major changes. One of the AA filters has a 51 pleat count, one less. The Walmart AB has one more, so possibly a standard deviation in production. The weights overall are about the same. The pleat thickness is about the same, so no real difference there. One issue that we do see is with the Raycor boxed filter. It has a lighter weight by about 5 grams, but the pleat count and the pleat thickness is the same. The bedding compound appears to be very much like a phenolic compound we would use in the brake industry. Phenolics are thermally resistant once heat cured, can be very strong and oil resistant depending on their compound. 
Twice in my 30 years, we had some bonding problems. One was an improper heat cure, the other was resin starved. There's no way for me to really know what the failure mode was for those filters. This resin has the same specific gravity as phenolic resin. Thanks for watching.